Okay, so for the next uh, couple of variations, the next three variations, um, they're all similar, and we talked about it a little bit last week. What uh, kind of stroke is this now? A staccato stroke. Staccato, and what's the special name for these? Um, hook staccato, upper staccato, down bow staccato, and third staccato. Good, all right, all right. So I think I told you last week when we looked at it briefly um, that uh, these are specialty strokes and we use them for sort of virtuosic kind of music and things like that. So they're not very important at all. But they're very important. Um, so one thing has to do with dividing the bow. So bow distribution. Um, that you're dividing your bow equally for all the notes that you have to do on these variations. And the other thing is that you're getting the same sound any place on the bow, right? So those two things, that's why we're doing this now. Not because it's a virtuosic stroke, but just because it's important for those reasons, okay? What are the two reasons? Um, bow distribution and trying to get the same sound at different parts of the bow. Great, okay. So what, um, what's your tempo on, the, on these? They should all be the same tempo, these three. What, what tempo do you have? 48. 48, okay. Okay. So do a little bit of the next one. I just want to see what you're doing on each one of them, okay? Nice, you're getting, you're getting a good stroke. So um, for staccato sound, so your bow distribution was very good on all of them. Um, for the sound, what kind of a contact point do you need for staccato? Lower contact point? Basically a low contact point, right? Which finger is really important for staccato? First. First finger, finger. great, okay. And um, as you're getting faster, you know, going from the eighth notes to the triplets to the sixteenth notes in these three variations, what has to happen to the contact point as you're getting faster there? No. Lower. Gets lower. Why? What's the rule? The more notes on the bow, the lower the contact. Right. Okay. So you have more notes on the 16th notes than on the triplet and so forth. Okay. Good. Um, so let's try it one more time now and see if you can get the sound a little bit more. So think low contact point on, uh, and just a little bit more explosive sort of. Thing. So on this one, you notice that the eighth note has an eighth note rest at the end. Right, so. Okay. Do you use more bow for the last one because of the? Eight? Maybe a little bit. That's a good question. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Oh, that's too long because that's almost a quarter note now. Okay. It's actually not really longer, it just has a little bit more ring to it at the end. Because you still really want the rest there. Does the last note have a dot on it? No. It doesn't have a dot? Okay, so then maybe yes, a little bit longer, but, but you still want to really hear the rest. because you're lifting your bow a little bit. Can you find that same thing in when that last note? So it's not, but it has the same sound. Just add the two? Just play it again, but uh, just try to find that sound, okay? Good. Okay, pretty good. So how are you going to challenge yourself? Faster, right. Okay, uh, so um, all the same tempo. What's the tempo for this? Um, 
one. What kind of contact point on the next one? A little lower even, yeah, okay, and do add with vibrato all the way. And then you'll, it'll slow your bow down. You may have to add weight, but you have to. It'll slow your bow down automatically. Great. Okay. And uh, so I think I told you before. These are specialty strokes. They're not that important, but they're very important. Why are they very important? Because of bow distribution, and you're trying to get the same sound in like different parts of the bow. Great. Okay. Good. Yeah. So that you have the bow divided in the good way, and that you're getting the same kind of sound any place on the bow that you have the ability of doing that. Great. 